unboxing day here at Paper and Moose, unboxing treasures sent to me through the mail. Welcome back everyone. Thank you for joining me. Yes, it is mail day here at Paper and Moose where I unbox treasures sent from all over the globe. First, I would like to thank Mary and Mary. Um, they sent me packages of boxes, packages of boxes, boxes of reference books, including some Disney books, glass books. So those will be really fun to look through and learn more. And then also some t-shirts, some to resell, some to keep for myself. I just wanted to show you two of my favorites. We have this nice worn Disney shirt with Mickey and Minnie. And then this one, which I really love, it is Dory and Nemo just keep swimming. And then the back, it has the address P. Sherman, 42 Wallaby, Wallaby Way, Sydney. Oftentimes I do feel like Dory like <laughs> when she's like, I'll send myself an email. Oh, got an email. So thank you, Mary. It is much appreciated. I really like this shirt. I like the look of it and I like the style. That was a good movie. Anyway, let's get into it, shall we? Thank you to everyone that has sent mail. If I have not opened your package yet, do not fear. I will. This is from, it's your last name, so I won't say it, Rochester, New York. Hello to Rochester. Again, love that Kodak building. Perhaps I'll get up there one day. When I had traveled there, it was through my old job. So, won't be traveling up there for my old job anymore. Let's see. This is from Chuck. I'm in the long process of clearing up my late wife's belongings. She died in April 2019. Sorry to hear that, Chuck. I came across these diplomas that her father earned, some from school and some vocational. Her family does not want them. I thought you might find them to be treasure, a portrait of achievement almost 100 years ago. Uh, Rudy Rudolph was the grandson on one, on one of the founding fathers of Milnor, North Dakota. Huh. He farmed, ran a family shoe shop, and did carpentry before working at the Melrose plant. The Melro brothers were the creators of a bobcat. Wow, how interesting. Rudy was a practical sort and was able to assist designers with simplifying and overcoming issues during his 20 years with Melro. I enjoy your YouTube channel. Well, thank you so much, Chuck. And Chuck sells on eBay. His eBay shop is called Retired and Selling, so you might want to check him out. Oh, look how nice. They definitely do not make diplomas like this anymore. I mean, that's, that goes without saying. Look at that. What year is this? Given at Foreman, North Dakota, 1922. They don't, it's like not even half the size. fun. Hanson Auto Tractor and Electrical School. They're more like this size, but I think on like very cheap paper. Certificate of Attainment. Public School, 1920s. And the last one. <gasps> Maybe there's two. Oh, look how nice this is. Oh, there's a little one. Whoops. Certificate of Award. Has the right to wear this emblem, M. Award and track. You see how nice that is with the colors and the flag? 1924. That's great. That would look neat on a shirt. That would look cool on a shirt. I'll get those shirts made one day. And there's a little certificate. Course of study. He got a 95 in storage battery and a 93 in auto repairing. Much better grades than I would. <laughs> so thank you, Chuck. Hope all is well up there in Rochester, New York. Not sure how much snow you guys got this year, but I hope you were doing well. Thank you. Next we have, this was passed on to me from Taco Stacks. They sent this to Taco Stacks or gave it to him. I forget which one. Hello, 
Lauren, I found your channel. There's money. Thank you. <laughs> you don't know how much that will come in handy. Uh, hello, Renee. Found your channel while watching Taco Stocks. Love what you find either in trash, flea markets, storage lockers, or house clearouts. Always fun to watch. Maybe you can buy something at a flea market or get a cheap storage locker. I'm actually looking at a storage locker online. I'm the winning better so far. So if you see a video for a storage unit coming up, that means I won. If you don't, that means I didn't. Always some sort of treasure waiting somewhere. Happy hunting. If you do not care for the items sent, please do what you want with them. No hard feelings at all. Peace, Jackie. Thank you so much, Jackie. That was so nice of you to do that. That was unnecessary, but so nice. Thank you. That would actually pay for the storage unit. <laughs> if I'm still the winning bidder, please. Because I think the unit might have pictures. Let me know how I feel about them. Wow, a whole bunch of paper. Don't want to mess up the envelope. Oh, little Valentine. A Valentine for a good little girl. It has like the, the velvet or the velour. Unused. A dear little girl was has brought this with a dimple, smile, and curls. To say that you're one of the dearest of all the dear little girls. I like you so. Look how cute that is. <laughs> oh, here's another one. Oh, I love these. To my nephew. Oh, he's shining shoes. Shining up a happy wish when Valentine's are due to greet a special nephew and that's no one else but you. I wonder if there's any autobiography about people that write, that used to write the greetings on cards. <laughs> I don't know how exciting that would be, but that'd be fun to read, I think. Oh, how nice this is. Bradford, Vermont, 1883, Central City Soap Company. Oh, she's lovely. Our customers say that don't anti-washboard soap does all that is claimed for it. It does as good, if not better, work than others they have tried and cost less. It is the best-selling soap we have. Bixby. Very, yours respectfully, Bixby. What a name. That'd be a great name for a cat, Bixby. That don't anti-washboard soap. Hmm. That's great. That look good on a shirt. A lot of shirt ideas here today. Oh, look how nice these are. These are printed in Germany. These are Victorian Santas. Oftentimes, I have yet to find them. You'll see them. They're like in a like in a strip and they're all connected. Those are lovely. Oh, look at this little guy. Oh, look at them. Jackie, you found some great stuff. Look how cute those faces are. I know that you always uh, send taco things. So thank you so much for thinking of me as well. These are so nice. I love those faces. And last but not least, a visitor's guide to New York City. And there are the Twin Towers, Statue of Liberty. Um, I went to the city for Christmas last December, um, before everything shut down. But I'd really like to explore more, including the Alice in Wonderland statue in Central Park, because there is one, and I need to see it. So thank you so much, Jackie. That was so nice of you, so kind of you. Whoop, little pan's falling over with thankfulness here. Thank you so much. So, so appreciative. And maybe, hopefully, I'll get that storage unit. Thanks again, Jackie. All right. So next up, make sure we're still recording here because I don't want to faux pas like last time. We are. We have two boxes. This is from Cora. Love that name. In New Boston, Michigan. Never heard of that town. I've never been to Michigan on my list. Dick and Jane card. <laughs> um, Renee, we are truly kindred spirits. I am retiring on, once retiring in 2008 after 27 years as a police officer. Oh, wow. Thank you for your service. Um, I took a job part-time as an, as an estate sale business. I have acquired some nice things, but I would rather shop uh, shop them than work them. 
I can imagine, you know, state sales are hard to put together unless it's the kind where you don't have to price anything and you just let people go. Um, also love the rummage and yard sales. Nothing stops me from shopping and picking items up from the side of the road as it should. I really enjoy painting and refinishing furniture and other items. I must have gotten that from my parents. The item in this box did not sell at a recent estate sale that I worked. No one in the family wanted it. It was either going to charity or trash. I saw a purpose. I hope you like it. Cora. Even this card was found. It had a little water damage but brought back many fun memories learning to read. Yeah, I can't even see. Oh, I'm right up there. I, I didn't even notice it. Oh boy. <laughs> I already see one thing. Oh my gosh. <laughs> All right, so this is the top. Now oh, the A came off, I'll have to stick that back on. What's the bottom, what's the bottom? See that make sure I'm holding it it's like a little tree oh it is oh how cute oh my goodness that is so neat oh, that's awesome this will look nice on my hutch I call it a hutch it's a, a gun cabinet it's been in my family for over like 70 years I don't have guns in it though. I have paper. <laughs> oh wow. Look how cool. Make sure I get it on there right. How nice. Thank you so much. This will be great up there with a little bit of light. I love the soft light that those fake tea light candles have. They, they're, they're great. That's so cool. Uh, where can I put this so it does not break? We'll put that here. And she actually sent another box. So we'll open this one up too. Yeah, I, my problem is if I worked for an estate sale company, I would want to buy everything. Or I probably wouldn't get any work done because I'd be so excited finding this stuff. So. House clean out, I would like to do though. Oh my goodness. at her make sure you can see I think after almost two years doing this I would get get used to Renee I recently went to an estate sale in a home that had been occupied by the same family for 50 to 60 years those are the sales that are magic it was four floors which included a basement and stand-up attic all floors overflowing with everything under the sun oh that sounds like my ideal estate sale this homemade book from clippings of 1920 to 1930 was so interesting. I hope you enjoy. That sounds like it, I, that's the kind of sale where you just spend all day. I'm trying to make sure you can see. Oh, there are all sorts of, it's falling apart. So I want to be, ooh, I like that. That would look good in a, in a pen <laughs> on a shirt. The girls aren't the only ones. I like how they colored it. I think that's pretty. Our modern crowning glory. Of how they used to do their hair. This is great. Also, <sighs> Ethel, the joke's always on the other fellow. Look how wonderful that the colors are. This is going to be fun to go. Oh. To go through they're all comics but comics from like oh there's jokes oh boy um i was trying to okay it's called stable talk it looks like it's okay a man was trying to sell a horse the animal was broken winded but sleek the owner trotted him around for inspection and bringing him back to the prospective purchaser Stroked the horse's back and remarked, hasn't he a lovely coat? The other looked at the heaving flanks of the animal and replied, yes, his coat's all right, but I don't like his pants. <laughs> what? <laughs> oh my gosh. 
That's so funny. Oh, look at all those little things. Oh, I could spend all day looking at this. Oh my goodness. The box is full. Look how cute these little guys are. Yeah, I couldn't work in a state cell because I just want to shop. Renee, this old book really intrigued me. I have been an avid reader all my life and had never seen this book. Came across it for $2 in an antique store. I know it is a little rough shape, but I just had a feeling about it and felt it worth saving. Check it out on eBay. Some better copies are worth a good amount. Newspaper articles, letters, and photos were free at same shop as owner was going to throw away once they had it sold. Should make some interesting reading as a move into winter. Um, please feel free to do whatever you see fit with any of these items. Centipack increase in cigarettes is expected. <laughs> oh gosh. I know you probably can't see. Oh, there's photos too. I'll show you the book then. It says Flint. They're at a... Oh, there's basketball on the side. They're at a um, piano. Then we have, it says Central's football team, 1923. Let me show look at these cuties. Twinkie Town Tales. <laughs> these little guys are adorable. Origins of the Twinkies. With Twinkie twinkles in their eyes, the Twinkies planned a big surprise. And down to earth they came one day to live, to work, to romp, and play. Are adorable. I've never seen this book either because if I would see this book out I would pick it up for sure. The illustrations are so cute. That's what gets me. If it's cute I want it. <laughs> oh wow. This is all this is full. We have stamps. We have more photos. That looks like a, oh, Wyoming. Wyoming, I'll get back to you. Hopefully sooner rather than later. That's a cute picture. Me and my gal, oh, Carl and Brownie. Oh my goodness, I love that. Look at, look at his face, look at her face. They are so cute. This guy, these are like out west. These are great. Oh, oh wow. The photographs, postcards, horse thermometer. Let me show you this guy. Iron, I'm like, I'm showing my age here. Iron Mountain, Iron Mine. I need these to see far away. I'm not sure why I have them on, but that's pretty neat. And the travel brochures all came from yet another estate sale. Sad no one from family had any interest in them. That happens all the time. That's why I usually, if I find a photo album, I usually ask just in case, but more often than not, they don't want them. So at least I figure, you know, some people think it's weird. It's not right that, you know, the fan, I can't help but the family doesn't want the photographs. That's not on me. I can only see if I can afford what they want to charge for them and if I can save them. And that's the important part. There's so many. Oh, this one's cool. This is a great scene. I'm not sure if you're gonna be able to see it, but there's like a factory in the back. You can see the, the stacks. It's too bad it didn't have a a town on it. They look thrilled. I'm guessing it was a uh, communion. They look thrilled. <laughs> they probably just want to go home and play whatever. My grandma always used to say they used to play kick the Ricky. I think this was a little bit before her time. Look at this lady. The orange crush, the phone sign in the back, 7-up sign and Coca-Cola sign. These, this is why photos are amazing. You have all that in one picture. And it's just a woman hanging by her car. Ooh, I like this. I mean, this is full. 
Canadian Expo. Oh, what's this guy? Oh, look at these. <gasps> these are the, oh my goodness. These are the patterns to make these wooden, uh, how, I'm, I'm, I can't even talk because I'm so excited. Oh my gosh. If only I was good with a saw. I think I have the Santa. I think this is like the Santa I got from that one clean out that I helped my friend with. Oh my gosh. These are so cool. Oh, if only I was good with tools. And look, there's even candy cane ones. I have never seen these out anywhere. I mean, I need a good estate sale to get to. And then we're gonna end with my, what some of you call my doppelganger, Mary Poppins. I have a few people, actually more than a few, comment that I look like her or I resemble her. And I'm A-OK -okay with that. She's kept her hair short for years now, Julie Andrews. What a great movie that was. So thank you so much, Cora. I'm going to have to finish looking through this box, but wow. Thank you. What a change from working in the police force to estate sales. That was probably fun. Like you said, I would want to shop more than I want to set up the estate sale because it would be so hard not to, not to, not to try and say, well, can I just buy this ahead of time? <laughs> I hope to find an estate sale like that soon with the spring coming up or a house clean out like that because that would be amazing. Fingers crossed, everyone. Well, thank you to everyone that sent all these wonderful items. I cannot thank you enough. I say that every single video, but I really do appreciate it. It's really humbling to know that you all um, are so giving and so kind that you send me all these wonderful things from photos to ephemera to books to even money, which hopefully I can buy that storage unit with. <laughs> hopefully I can win the storage unit with. <laughs> so thank you again. I hope that the kindness that you have shown me returns it back to you many times over. Thank you for watching. Hope you have a great day. I'm going to make some tea. Hopefully win that storage unit. We'll have to see. <laughs> Stay tuned for the next adventure here at Paper Moose. I will see you all next time.